Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very quick and easy St. Patrick's Day meal with corned beef. This isn't your traditional meat and potatoes and cabbage. Um, it's a little bit, got a little bit of a twist to it. I think you'll really enjoy it. If you want something a little different for St. Patrick's Day, try this. You're going to love it. This is how we do it. All right, first we're going to take a couple tablespoons of olive oil in a hot skillet. Uh, I have here a four pound cut. Uh, this is a flat cut of corned beef. Now I did take a little bit of the fat cap off just so that we could give it a good sear. And we are gonna brown it on all sides. Once our corned beef has been browned on all sides, you can either stick it in a, um, an oven safe pot in the oven for about four to five hours. I'm gonna do it in the crock pot. Just know it might take a little bit longer, um, but we're just gonna make sure that it's nice and tender. All right, let's get you on over there. Okay, transfer that in there. And to that, we are going to add one whole quartered onion. I've got this guy split up here. Just kind of throw them in there a little bit like that. Okay. I have um, four cloves of minced garlic. One tablespoon of whole peppercorns. We're gonna do three bay leaves. I don't, you don't have to break them up. I just kind of like to, just cause it's probably a mental thing. I think they're more flavorful, but I don't know if that's actually true. Eight whole cloves. Um, I happen to have ground, so I converted that to about half a teaspoon. probably heaping teaspoons. Um, and I have one teaspoon of thyme, dried thyme. Okay, we're gonna add enough hot water over the top just to cover our meat. That's perfect. That was about four cups for mine. Now, I'm gonna put this on, since it's in my crock pot, I'm gonna put it on high. We wanna get it to a boil. Then we're gonna turn it down and let it simmer for about five hours. Like I said, if you're gonna do it in your oven, it's probably gonna cut it down by a little bit, um, but it also kind of just depends on your crock pot unit. So we're just trying to get it to a really soft stage. If you wanna do it while you're at work, I can guarantee you're gonna be fine. So. Let's cover this baby up and we're gonna put it on high, then turn it back down once it gets to our, our boiling point. It's kind of a set it and forget it. It's kind of a nice, a nice quick meal. But it's gonna taste like you spent all day in the kitchen. So our corned beef has been simmering for about five and a half hours. Um, I'm gonna make our glaze now and then we are gonna dress it on the top and eat it. This is how we're gonna do this part. So to our glaze, we're gonna have, I've got blackberry jam. I'm going to add some uh, frozen blackberries. Brown sugar. Honey Dijon mustard. This is not honey mustard. This is honey Dijon mustard. I'm going to add some soy sauce. And a little bit of black pepper. 
just for flair. We're gonna whisk this and melt our frozen berries. We're gonna kind of smash them up a little bit. Um, I'm going to make sure that it gets a little bit thick, probably about seven-ish minutes. Okay. All right, I can feel that it's getting thick. I can see that it's getting thick. I'm turning my heat off and uh, we're gonna get our uh, corned beef out and ready to place the glaze on. All right, we've just pulled our corned beef out of the crock pot and now we get to put some glaze on this. We're gonna stick this under the broiler until it caramelizes. I may or may not add some more um, throughout the process, just de depending on um, how it's caramelizing. Into the oven we go. Out we go. I'm gonna check this real quick. Okay, I'm gonna do just a little bit of, a little bit more, just a little bit more to caramelize it. And back in. This is going to go really, really fast because the sugar content. And uh, we'll be back with you probably about two minutes. All right, we are back out. We're going to let that cool for about 10 minutes. And then we are going to eat because we're hungry. See you in a minute. All right, the meat's been rusting for about 10 minutes. It is time to eat. All right, I cannot wait to try this. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You guys, if you don't make this, this St. Patrick's Day, I will be severely disappointed. That's amazing. The flavors go so well with corned beef. Um, it's just out of this world. Please try this. Um, it's gonna knock your socks off. I have no more words, so I'm going to eat. Goodbye.